makes uh, someone with an idea for a business into a successful business person? What makes a local business in a small town uh, a successful business that manages to sell internationally or regionally? Or what makes a teenager with good skills for mathematics or engineering into a successful executive in the world of technology? In many circumstances, what makes a difference is access to opportunities, having the chance to participate in that world that you aspire to be a part of. You may have a great product that sells very well locally, but you don't have the tools or the know-how on how to expand it, how to sell online. Um, you may have a great idea, a brilliant idea for a new technology, a new product, a new business, uh, but you don't have the resources, the training, the funding, maybe the coaching or the inspiration to take that further. Or you may have that potential to be good at engineering or technology, but you've, you've never seen someone in that field that looks like you, that speaks like you, that comes from the same background or origin than you, so you lack that role model. When this happens, when these opportunities are not there, when we don't enable more participation, all of that great potential stays like that, as a potential. And we never see the true realization of those dreams or possibilities. At Visa, we have a commitment to drive participation, to enable participation in the economy. We have a commitment to use the power of our network to drive and enable participation for more people, for more actors. We are moved by this belief that we can use the power of what we have, which is this, this vast global network that moves money from buyers to sellers, from people to people, from, from businesses to business, from, from governments to their citizens and that we can do that, and that great technology that enables all of that magic to happen almost in real time, securely, instantly, with the re uh, reliability that people expect when they put their money uh, on behalf of a network. We believe that we can put all that power of that network in service of enabling participation in bringing more people into the economy or into closer to the potential, the possibilities that they aspire to have. Let me give you a couple of examples of how we've been doing that. We, we set ourselves a commitment to enable and help 8 million small businesses across Europe to give them the technology, the tools, to help them to expand and adapt to the digital economy, be it contactless or electronic payments, or be it selling online. During the pandemic, this need became critical when shops had to close their doors or couldn't sell physically or couldn't host people if, if in, in, in their premises, the ability to continue to operate online became crucial. I'm going to show you an example of one of the many cases that we've helped throughout Europe. This is a case of a small business in Italy. Magda Alessandro, eh, proprietari dell'azienda viticola Centovigne, un'azienda italiana situata nell'Alto Piemonte con una storia interessante da raccontare. Per noi la pandemia ha significato il timore di perdere tutte le vendite dell'anno, che le persone non venivano più a comprare i nostri prodotti, niente degustazioni, niente viste al castello, insomma sono stati momenti difficili. Abbiamo capito che avevamo bisogno di un e-commerce. Ci siamo affidati a Vidra, uno dei partner di Visa per le soluzioni e-commerce e grazie a loro siamo riusciti a realizzare il nostro e-commerce in pochissimo tempo. Online possiamo raggiungere più clienti che mai. Allo stesso tempo è più facile organizzare le visite al castello e in cantina.
This is one of the many examples that, as I said, during the pandemic had to face an extraordinary challenge, and we were able, through our partners, together with our partners, to help them find a way to continue to operate and continue to have a, a, a lifeline. Here's another example of something we are doing. In this case, we've created this program, which is called She's Next. It's a program that aims at helping female-owned startups to get the tools, the funding, the training, and the coaching to get their idea from idea to a reality. Uh, it's a program that we are running around the world, so there's a, a, a considerable number of applications. And again, startups, female-funded uh, startups that apply with uh, the hope that they will get, again, that, that help, that support. And uh, one of the things that I found extremely inspiring or rewarding is when you see the effect that being chosen to be part of this program has on that. I'm going to show you just a short clip that from one of the last editions of this out of Ireland to see what happens and the reaction of these owners when they find out that they are part of the program and they will get the support that they are seeking from Visa. We brought you here under false pretenses, really, because we'd love to tell you that you've won. Oh my goodness, like I actually can't believe it. Oh wow, <laughs> that is so amazing. I'm so grateful, thank you. It means the absolute world to be recognized after three three years of a lot of work. Having a supportive mentor, like it's it's just having that other person to, to help guide. Really excited, can't wait to get started. So the world is full of cases like this. Again, you have the idea, you have the potential, but you don't know exactly how to take it further. The economy is there, the opportunity is there, but our commitment and our, our, our role is to help enable this participation of more actors in the economy. But we realize, I mean, at Visa, we are involved in the world of sports for many, many years. We sponsor the Olympic Games, we sponsor FIFA, we sponsor American football. So we are very close to the dynamics of the world of sports. And a few years back, we realized that women's football provided us a, a great metaphor to address some of the same issues we were seeing or challenges we were seeing in the economy. If you look at the world of women's football, uh, we saw a similar dynamic of lack of opportunities. Um, either the supporting organizations were not providing enough support there was not enough visibility to the, to, the, to the game, therefore less audiences, less investment, less sponsors, um, lack of role models for an inspiring football player, a young girl, a teenager, to see herself reflected in someone that she would aspire to be one day. So there are a number of things we, we spotted there. And because of our commitment to inclusion, to diversity, and to enabling participation, and our understanding and credibility in the world of sports, we felt that we could make something about it. And we took women's football as this beautiful metaphor for some of the broader challenges that we, we face as a society. So back in 2018, we, we made a commitment to be the first ever standalone sponsor of UEFA for their women's football competitions. Up until then, there was no big brand that was fully dedicated to that, and we, we took that as an opportunity to make a statement. Uh, it was a breakthrough for the sector. It made headlines everywhere. <clears throat> and we signed a seven-year deal, which is something longer than what's usual in this world of sports. Uh, we committed ourselves to help raise awareness of the sport, to encourage participation at all levels. Once again, because we saw this as a <clears throat> great metaphor for the participation in the economy that we were talking before. But we didn't stop just there with signing a deal. It's not just about putting your logo there, but it's about the actions that you take. Um, on top of that, we created back then, in 2018, what we call Team Visa, which is a selection of 15 of the best football players in Europe that we sponsor individually. We help them raise their profile. We help them be more visible. We help them become more of that role model that could inspire others to see themselves in that potential, in that opportunity. These are some of the best talent in Europe, and, and we are very proud of having them as part of Team Visa. But because of, again, the, the lack of role models was 
one of those elements that we wanted to, to help change, we created this player of the match trophy, which awards the best player in, 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 champions, in Women's Champions League or in the Euros. And uh, it's not just a recognition of the individual player, but also they get a, um, a grant that they have money that they can allow and dedicate to one of the supporting organizations of their choice to enable, once again, the participation and the development of the sport at younger levels. We also, through our partnership with, with UEFA, uh, help um, with grassroots development. It's very important to, to, to help that further development. So we are investing through them in creating better facilities, training coaches, training supporting staff, uh, providing equipment uh, as a way to also help tackle one of those challenges we've seen in, in, in that cycle that I showed you before of what was limiting participation of more people. But the, problem, the, the challenges were not just to get people into the game, but also if you are a professional football player on the women's football side, uh, that's still to that is not a highly lucrative career, so you need to be mindful of what happens next once you stop playing. Um, so we created a program which we are very proud of, which is called the second half, which is to help football players, current players, prepare them, train them, give them the tools, the, 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 the techniques and know-how to prepare themselves for a career once they stop playing professionally. The second half is something we've developed together with Karen Kearney, who is the former captain of the England football team, so someone who with direct knowledge of what it takes to A, get, make it to the top level of the sport, but also how difficult it is to then transition. So if you want to create participation, enable participation, you need to tackle all the things that are preventing that from visibility, awareness, role models, uh, supporting structures, funding, but also making sure that you are solving for the entire cycle from the moment you decide to train as a, as, as a kid, as a, as a teenager, all the way to uh, having a career or a life after you stop playing. We, we've seen since then, since we started this journey in the last four years, uh, a, a tremendous development, accelerated development of women's football in Europe. And once again, this, this brilliant analogy with what we've seen in the economy as well. We are proud to see the, the game flourishing with more investments at more levels, uh, uh, record audiences. Uh, we've seen in the last few weeks uh, in Barcelona feminine uh, breaking records, actually two games in a row, more than 90,000 people to attend one of their games in the Champions League. Um, we are seeing records being bro broken throughout Europe, uh, more games on television, more attention to sponsors. Uh, we want to believe that we, we have a role to play in this, and that makes us extremely proud. And in 49 days, to be precise today, uh, we'll have the biggest event ever for women's football starting on July in England, the European Championships for women's football. Um, we all anticipate this to be the largest, most, most successful event ever for, for women's sport in general. Uh, the interest from audiences, from sponsors, from broadcasters have been extraordinary. Uh, ticket sell, sales have been record, uh, selling at record pace. Uh, the final game is going to be played at Wembley, which is a pretty large stadium, if, you, if you've seen it once, uh, and, uh, and uh, is predicted to be the largest attendance for a European football final, women's or men. So it's pretty exciting to see. Uh, and we are preparing from Visa a marketing campaign to celebrate what we think is going to be this landmark and to tell more people throughout Europe the story of not just what we are doing, but, by, but why we are doing it. What's the motivation behind our involvement with the sport? Once again, this, this parallel, we see very interesting parallel between the world of sports and the economy. I want to show you a short clip that illustrates what's the message that we are bringing to life as a preview of what's going to be broadcasted throughout Europe at the beginning of the tournament. At Visa, we touch the lives of billions of people. Everything we do helps enable individuals, businesses and economies to thrive. From small business owners to holiday travellers, from youth leads to Champions League. Visa knows competition is at its best when everyone truly has access to a shot. 
This gives Visa a unique and crucial role to play to enable more participation on and off the field. Creating the opportunity for a new player of the match or an unexpected entrepreneur. Only when everyone participates will we see the best of all of us. Because when more of us play, all of us win. We're very proud to see this, this growth and this development. And, and again, we, we want to believe that we, we have a role to play here. But this is a journey. These are not things that have a clear end in sight, but something that continues to grow over time. Um, come July, I invite all of you to, to engage in this fantastic movement. Stand behind the European Championships, but use it as a way to show your support for the type of world that we all want to live in. Think about what we can do when we show our support and our involvement in, in being part of the change we want to see in the world. For Visa, this is part of a broader journey uh, to drive inclusion, to drive participation for all. It's a journey. It's not perfect. It's not linear, but it's something that motivates all of us who work at Visa to create the participation, to enable the participation that can bring back the opportunities for that small business who has a chance to operate globally, to make that happen. The opportunity that can make that idea for a business become an idea, or the opportunity that can make that aspiring engineer become a successful engineer in the world of technology. Because our belief is that when more of us Play, all of us win. Thank you very much for listening.